You know, for some, the sight of poinsettias conjures up memories of, oh, I don't know, Christmas, a nice warm fire, presents under the tree, twinkling lights and reflecting off the, sh all the twinkling lights reflecting off the snow. Well, here's the thing. Poinsettias are actually tropical. So what we did was we invited in a very special guest to explain that more in detail to us. And here he is. Now, he also agreed to bring along with him the gardening expert, Ginny Rosencrantz, from the <laughs> University of Maryland Extension office. Thank you so much for agreeing to come along with your little buddy here. Oh, he is so, so sweet. Is, is that Joel Poinsett? Is it? Oh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm glad you said that name. Explain who Joel Poinsett is. He was actually a botanist who was uh, it, traveling in the uh, Mexico and lower California area, the right. Southern California area. And he was the one that saw these and said, wow, these are really cool. He brought some back to civilization and that's why they got named Poinsettias, Mr. Joel Poinsett. And this was like in the 1800s. Oh, 1800s, so way yeah, yeah. Back when. So that is the problem a lot of us have it, when we can't keep this thing pretty all season uh, long. It's not a winter plant. Not really, not really. And the, the only thing is um, it really does like to live in the same kind of environments that we like to live in, which okay. is really important when you think about it. So like for instance, um, it's southern, so it likes it hot. Right. We like to live in a warm house, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. It likes sun. We have windows in our house. Okay. Perfect. Um, it doesn't like to be in the cold draft, so don't put it anywhere near the, uh, a door when you open the door and the cold winter wind comes in. Right. We don't like that. These guys don't like that either. Water? Um, you know, remember, they're Mexico, so they like a little bit of water, but they like it hot and dry. I mean, these are desert guys. So, so not only can we make them last through the season, we might be able to make them last through the year? Oh, absolutely, and a lot of people do. I mean, I'd love to come into houses and, and offices where they've got a poinsettia that they've kept alive for the whole time. And, and a lot of it is like benign neglect. Right. They keep them in the window, and did I water that? Last week or the week before? Oh, I'll give it a little bit of water now. And they love that because they don't like a lot of water. One of the easiest ways to kill them is to overwater them. Yeah. Now, you were yeah. telling me this is not the, the typical size for a poinsettia. Oh, the original poinsettias are huge. They can get to be six feet tall. Uh, you know, in oh Mexico. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. They can make hedges of them. I can you imagine like a six foot hedge, four foot wide, completely in flower like these guys. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. Wouldn't that be fabulous? That'd be gorgeous. Yes, okay, let me ask you some questions mm -hmm. here because yeah. uh, we've had a lot of people mention it to us. Uh -huh. People saying that uh, poinsettias are poisonous to our furry children. A lot of people feel that way, but there is no scientific evidence on that. And, and scientific evidence is what we need to look at. Okay. So in what happens instead is, um, I'm going to steal a leaf right here. Right. If I steal a leaf and I squeeze it a little bit, there is some white latex that comes out. Latex. It's called latex, which is a type of rubber. Okay. Okay. So when a dog or a cat likes to chew on this and tears up the leaf and all that kind of stuff, um, that latex comes out all over the place. Right. So it comes out in their mouth. And sometimes if they're chewing enough, it can kind of gum up their mouth, kind of like eating taffy or something like that. Oh, mm. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not poisonous. It's just a little bit, oh my goodness, what are you doing? A little irritating. Yeah, yeah. It's foaming at the mouth. That no, no foaming at the mouth, no. <laughs> All right, so you got different ones here. Tell us. Right. Tell well, us. That's the cool thing about poinsettia. Most people think about red poinsettias, like right. the one you're holding. That's the classic. But plant readers, they have to play. So we have a white one. Um, the original white ones were completely white. Now we've gone ahead and bred these to be smaller, more compact, so that you don't have to look around them at dinner time if they're on the table. Right. Yes, so the white is almost an off cream. And then you have these beautiful variegated ones with a little bit of pink and white, and then that soft pink right there is gorgeous. Now tell me about the one you're holding. Oh, this is really cool. This is called a Christmas rose. It's a poinsettia. And what happened is the bracts, instead of having nice, broad, flat, um, leaves like right. that, yeah. um, th they're crinkled and they're funky and so they look a little bit like roses. I like that. I yeah, really it's really neat. Jenny, thank you so much for coming in, sharing your wealth of knowledge. <laughs> you just amaze me. There's nothing that she doesn't know. Thank you very much. Thank you.